Distributed systems today have rich semantics exposed through client APIs, component guarantees, configurations, and etc. New interface and semantics are also continuously introduced as the system evolves. These semantics encode various promises. For example, a distributed service may provide several promises, including exactly once message delivery. Created data will be persisted in any redundant copies. And if a client is watching some object, callback will be invoked when object status changes. However, bugs in distributed system can break these promises. Some message may be delivered twice. Some data may not get replicated enough copies. When the object is updated, the system may not notify clients. These failures are semantic violations. When semantic violations occur, the system or users may observe some explicit errors, such as client exceptions and timeouts, which is still good news because existing solutions can detect such failures and react. But the bad news happens when a system is operational but silently breaks its semantics without explicit error signals. Such silent semantic violations are problematic because they can cause catastrophic consequences, while at the same time, users and other components are misled by the seemingly normal behavior, thus they did not take any action. To shed some light on this class of failures, we conducted an empirical study on 109 real-world silent semantic violations. We summarized a number of quantitative findings. Guided by insights from our study, we built a system OSKeeper to detect silent semantic violations. Our study covers nine representative distributed systems. We randomly sampled more than 700 user-reported failures from issue trackers of this system, then filtered out incidents with clear error signals, and confirmed 268 silent violations. In the end, we performed in-depth analysis on 109 sampled cases. Our study is driven by a number of research questions, such as prevalence, age, and timing of semantic violation. In the following slides, I will present a few major findings from our study. First, a common assumption is that correctness-related issues are typically eliminated in testing stage, so silent violations should be rare in production. Our results suggest otherwise. We found that silent semantic violations occupy almost 40% of all types of user report failures. Interestingly, MongoDB has the lowest ratio among all systems we study. We noticed that MongoDB developers had many invariant checks since 2014. These production-enabled assertions help exposing subtle issues and convert many failures into crash failures. Why are there so many silent failures? Since these study systems keep adding new features, one might guess these valid semantics come from new features, so it's understandable they are broken. But we find although most study failures occurred after two years since initial release, in 68% of cases, the valid semantics are old, which exist since the first major release of system. In many cases, we see the same semantics is violated over and over again. Zookeeper has this feature called ephemeral node, and it has a simple semantics. Ephemeral node exists as long as the session that the created is alive. This semantic has existed since 2008. However, users report a number of production failures that violate this semantics even 14 years later. The findings so far seem to suggest these study systems have poor testing, so the semantic violations are repeatedly occurring. That's not the case, and the developers, they do add a test. In 73% of cases, at least one test case covers the valid semantics. This test did not expose encountered a new failure because they lack some operations, arguments, or other key elements to trigger. For example, HDFS provides APIs to capture snapshots of files, and this feature is covered by test. But the tricky violation later exposed in production takes five different conditions to trigger. We also see the test 
are fixing the specific bugs instead of validating the semantics generally. Besides testing, another approach is static bug finding. We found the root cause of studied cases are diverse. Even for failures that violate the same or related semantics, their root cause can be quite different. For example, for the ephemeral node, such simple case we discussed, the semantic violation can be very different. The semantic violation in one failure is caused by a race condition. In another failure, the violation is caused by buggy error handling. In a third failure, it is caused by an unexpected change of system time. Such characteristics makes it challenging to eliminate semantic, uh, semantic violations statically. Another direction to address silent semantic violations is to dynamically detect them. A simple idea is appending a check after each operation, such as deleting a file and immediately list the file in the parent directory to see if the file still exists. Interestingly, it turns out there are two types of semantic uh, semantics, short-lived and long-lived. Short-lived means some semantics only exist during the execution of its associated operation, like read operation should read return the latest data. In comparison, long-lived semantics exist even after its associated operation finishes. 67% of failures violate long-lived semantics. The violation can happen at the start. One example is users set HB space quarter, but actually it did not make any, uh, take any effect. The violation can happen in the middle. For example, when HDFS blocks are created, the placement policy is initially honored, but after some node failures, all replica of the block reside on the same rack. Or the violation happens at the end, like the ephraim node case we discussed. Therefore, only having one shot checking after each operation can miss many violations of long-lived semantics. Our study includes other findings, such as sanity checks are insufficient to detect semantic failures. Please read our paper for these findings. Motivated by the prevalence and the severity of silent semantic violations, we designed a tool called OSKeeper to detect this class of failures. OSKeeper's design is directly guided by our study findings. For example, we found the majority of study failures violate old semantics, despite decent testing coverage. This finding provides us with uh, insight that the current regression test developer right only focus on fixing specific bugs. Based on this insight, the key idea of OSKeeper is to extract the underlying essence of existing regression test for past semantic failures, which are the semantic rules. Then the tool enforces these rules at the runtime to continuously check new violations. The workflow of OSKeeper consists of two phases. In the pre-production phase, it infers semantic rules from past semantic failure regression test. This is done by instrumenting the target systems and running both buggy and patched versions to emit two sets of traces. The inference engine then automatically extracts highly relevant semantic rules from the two trees. In the runtime phase, OSKeeper continuously checks the system traces against the semantic rules to find violations. But how to express semantics? Existing runtime verification solutions express system properties as predicates over some state variables and then check these state relations in a global snapshot. However, the semantics and the violations we target are related to system features and are much broader. They cannot be simply expressed as state relations. OSKeeper instead focus on semantic related events and their relationship which are expressive to capture various semantics. To extract such events, OSKeeper will automatically instrument the given operation invocations and state updates, including variable name, parent method, updated value. To omit the semantic event traces, OSKeeper automatically instrument both the buggy and the patch system. It then excises the system with the regression test to generate the event traces. 
Here's a subset of a trace from the Ethereum node test. It involves key events such as updates to Ethereum nodes and sessions, and serialized operation in dumping snapshot. We mark them as E1, E2, E3. Our goal is to infer relations between these events. To efficiently infer rules among the semantics-related events, we take a template-driven approach and define a set of general rule templates such as happens before, atomicity, periodicity. Each template is parameterized. During the inference step, OSKeeper iterates all templates and enumerates the potential instance for each template. Here we show one example of inferring rules. P implies Q, which means for every event P, there is a subsequent event Q. We apply the template to a patch trace. Inference of this template using a simple counting approach. The first step initializes occurrence counter for event pairs. The counters are initially zero. The second step iterates through events in the trace. If it matches the left operator, the counter increases. If it matches the right operator, the counter decreases. In the end, if counter equals zero, the relation holds. In this example, it outputs three rules after the inference step. After obtaining the initial inferred rules, we validate them against the buggy trace. The rationale is that only rules that fail in the buggy trace are highly relevant to the particular valid semantics. Similarly, we can scan trace and update counters. At the end of this step, we preserve two rules that are relevant. There could still be a number of false rules. To reduce them, the verifier validates the rule against the traces from all test cases and discard the rules that are failed in some tests. Eventually, we get relevant and verified rules. The verified rule we get from previous small subset is state update of ephemeral node implies state update of sessions. OSKeeper deploys the semantic rules with the target system at a runtime. It only instruments rule-related functions and is thus lightweight. The runtime verifi verifier schedules periodical tasks to validate the current trace against each deployed rule. The validation reuses the same checking logic in the associated template. When the engine finds the semantic rule violated, it logs the violation and records the counterexamples for debugging. We made several optimizations. For validation phase, we prioritize running closely related tests first to invalidate false rule faster and reduce validation time. For runtime detection, we use a ring buffer design inspired by high performance message queue for low overhead. We have integrated OSKeeper with ZooKeeper, HDFS, and Kafka. Our evaluation answers questions regarding detection effectiveness, accuracy, and others. OSKeeper requires old semantic failures and associated regression tests to extract semantic rules. We select several tests for each assistant, which cover many important functionalities. In total, OSKeeper extracts 1,644 rules for these systems. To measure whether the inferred rules are useful to catch new semantic failures, we reproduce seven new bugs reported by developers. These bugs violate related semantics in the old case, but with different root causes. With the inferred rules, OSKeeper detects a violation for six of them. In comparison, the baseline checker implemented based on DINV only detects one of them. The extracted rules incur 4 to 12 percent false positive ratio, which greatly benefits from the validation step. This can be further reduced by adding profile runs or a dynamic band mechanism. Our template-based inference is fast. The most time-consuming part is verifying rules against all test assistant tests, because running the full test alone takes time. Loading and instrumenting rules would add extra time. The survival optimization we introduced can reduce the end-to-end -end validation time by 38%. We also measure the overhead OSKeeper introduced to the system at the runtime. The main source of overhead comes from added instrumentation to emit traces. The average system throughput overhead is 1.27%. The ring buffer optimization significantly helps in achieving this low overhead. In summary, 
Silent semantic violations pose a severe challenge to distributed system reliability. Our study showed interesting findings, such as old semantics get violated repeatedly, and different types of violation timings. We further designed a tool, OSKeeper, that extracts rules from past semantic failures and enforces rules at the wrong time to check future violations. Thank you, and now I'm open to the question.